Hi friends, I'm Kartik and today I have made a game which is Monster Shooter. So let's start making this game. So first I'm going to go to Actions and drag this set actor to image block. So here I'm going to change the actor to let's take it to a monster. So we look for a monster. Right. Here it is. And now first we have to place this block right here. Now let us change the background. Okay. So let's take it to cloudy. And now I have to make another character or actor. His number will be 2. And the next character will be a wizard. And now I'm again going to go to actions. I'm going to drag this block. Move actor. Wait a minute. First let's run it. So here you can see both of our character actors. But you can see that a wizard is right here. But it should be down. So let's move our wizard down. So I'm going to change the number to 2. Here I'm going to choose down. And how many pixels? It should be 300 pixels. So now let's run it. Right, so you can see that our after number 2 or the wizard is down now. So let's reset it and again go to actions, scroll down and drag this show title screen block. So here the title will be Shoot the monster and an exclamation mark. And here in the text message must be written. So now it is like this. So now I am going to go to loops and drag this repeat forever block. And again go to actions, move actor 1, left, okay, left, how many pixels, 300 pixels, 300, or we can move him right and then so i'm going to drag this block and again go to actions drag this move after block once more and place it inside the repeat forever loop i'll select here left and here i'm going to select here i'm going to write 300 pixels okay so now let's then so here you can see the title shoot the monster and here you can see that a monster is moving left and back left and back so now i'm going to reset it and drag and 
go to events then i'm no not this block when after two so here i'm going to change the number to two click i'm going to go to actions now i will scroll down after two so blue fireball you can select anything from here you can change the characters and the background also after two throw blue fireball up okay now i am again going to go to events here i am going to select right when after one touches i am going to scroll down more towers when after one touches blue fireball so here i have selected blue fireball so here it is after two is throwing blue fireball and here when the blue fireball is touching after number five then we should score a point so now i'm going to go to games or scores and drag the score point block right so now i'm going to drag this a little bit downwards and again go to actions or first let's run it just a minute yes so now we will run it so here it is let's click this you can see that it is throwing many fireballs and when this monster is touching the fireball our score is increasing like this let me throw two fireballs this time that it is eight and 10 so here you can see that our score is increasing so let's reset it and add some more features so now i'm again going to go to actions so now our monster will also throw some fireballs towards actor 2 or the wizard and when the wizard will touch the fireball then his score could decrease so here i'm going to grab this and place it inside the repeat for a minute actor one throw so our uh, actor one will throw purple and red fireball so first your purple fireball down okay now we are going to drag another loop and another repeat for a loop place it right here and now in our second loop we will again go to actions scroll down and drag this block place it right here so again we are going to select purple fireball here so here we have so you must be thinking that why have we placed this after one throw of purple fireball down this block if we are placing it right here then why are we placing right here also so we are placing it right there because 
if it shows a less amount of fireballs then we can win very easily so that's why we have placed this block here also so now i'm again going to go to actions and now let's scroll upwards and drag this block this waiting block wait for 4 seconds and then a monster will and then after waiting for 4 seconds a monster will throw red fireball a red fire so now again we are going to go to actions scroll down drag this block and place it inside the second repeat forever loop so now i'm going to select here show red fireball so i'm going to scroll down and select red fireball okay so here we need to change the direction to down and here also down okay now we are going to go to events drag this block when after two touches the purple fireball then our score should decrease by one so i'm drag i'm going to drag this block remove one point and then i'm going to scroll down and now i'm again going to go to events drag this block place it right here change the actor number 2 and then touches red firewall then when our actor 2 is touching the red firewall then our score should decrease by 2 so means we have to stay away from the red fireball mode so i'm going to go to act no no i'm going to go to games or score and drag this remove points block place it right here and here i'm going to write two. remove two points and now i'm going to to run right so i will run it so here you can see that the monster is throwing the balls so we can also throw the balls like this right so our score is only increasing right now uh oh two fireballs are landing towards us and we can't even save ourselves so to save ourselves right here from the monster we we have to move left or right so now i'm going to reset and go to events and drag this block place it right here then left arrow wait a minute ok so now I am going to go to actions the left arrow move actor left 
So how many pixels? I'm going to take it to 20 pixels. And now I'm again going to go to events. Grab this when arrow click block. Choose the direction to right and go to actions. Then drag the move after block and place it right here. Change the after number to two. Change the direction direction to right and then change the pixels to 20. Okay, so now for some more interest, we can add some sound also. So now I'm going to drag these two blocks a little bit downwards. This also. And now I'm going to go to actions. Scroll down. Drag play sound block. Place it right here first. And here I'm going to select loose point or let's select loose point 2. Okay, so we can drag this block right here. And now I'm again going to go to actions and drag the play sound block. Choose the sound. The sound must be loose point. And then I'm going to add some more sounds. When actor one touches blue fireball, then it should be a win point sound. So let's drag the play sound block here also. So let's see which one is good. This is good. And what about two? Yes, so this is much more good. So now let's run. Right. Oh no, let's move, let's move. Oh oh. We are going to fight. Monster can't run away. Right. Let's move now. Faster, faster. Right. Stop, 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 stop. Throw, throw. Right. Here. Yes. Throw, 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 throw. Let's throw, let's throw. Oh no, oh no. Side, side, side. Right, right, no, no. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Right. So this is how we make a monster shooter game. So now let's see my project. Monster Shooter Game. Now I'm going to click on save to save my project. So now you can also okay, you can also share your project with others by clicking on the share button and this was how we make a monster shooter game bye bye thank you hope you liked it